wanted to provide you guys with something kind of different. This is going to be kind of a free little mini ebook here out of the Gun Tight Open. It's a formation that um, I just kind of been messing around with a little bit and uh, wanted to bring you guys uh, just a full little breakdown on this formation. It's in the Chiefs Playbook, and um, yeah. This is kind of a sampling of what we do over on the Patreon page. If you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only ten dollars to join, and uh, you can get access to all of my eBooks over there. We have full. Well, the cool part about the Patreon too is that we update those eBooks. So if you want to get better at Madden, make sure you're in the Patreon. But for the tight open, we're going to talk about the base play first, and it's going to be the play slot post. There's a lot you can do with this play, but the main purpose um, of us calling this play is because of the fact that we have this post route. To the slot receiver so what we're going to do is we're going to create a shallow uh, shallow cross concept and the way we're going to do that is we are just going to take the outside or the tight end and we're going to put him on a streak we're going to then take the right side receiver we're going to put him on a drag and then we are going to block our running back so very simple setup here and the first read on the play is this post route against man coverage it is the best route in the formation it's the reason the whole entire reason why this formation is any good uh, is because of the fact that this post route is absolutely lethal. Now, uh, the other cool part about that is they're going to have to use that post route, which is then going to allow us to throw this drag route across the middle of the field um, over the middle against pretty much anything that the defense is going to do. So we have a very simple way to attack a lot of defenses. One thing you can do is you can create a motion out on this little wheel. And against press man-to-man, -man, that can create uh, a little bit better spacing for this play. And as you can see, that drag just absolutely lethal against man-to-man -man coverage. So the how does this play work against zone coverage? Pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a high-low, and we're going to have this all the way over the middle of the field. So the first thing is that post is going to make those yellow zones back off. And so because the post route is going to pull those yellow zones back, one of the best ways to attack zone is to hit this slant route over the or the, the drag route over the middle of the field. Now, if EA patches slant routes to make them a little bit more effective than they are currently you can put a slant route on this play and that is also a very effective uh, way to run this now uh, i would say that cover four what's interesting about this post route is if you smart route it it'll make it a little bit better especially if you have first down and 10 or less and it'll be just a little sharper so that you can cut this off before he before that deep out zone um that that deep outside quarter is able to play him now this will still beat man coverage um, which I'll show you real quick. And I'll also show you another thing with this. Any kind of shaded down man coverage, like cover two man, this is going to do a really good job against as well because of the spot of the tight end. Nickel sets can't press him. So you see here, able to get this separation, and he's going to be open over the middle of the field. So slot post is also really good. I'm going to go ahead and put on zone drops here. Uh, this post route is also really effective for attacking zone drops. It's, it's truly one of the better routes in the entire game. I'll put these on 30 just to show it. Uh, but one of the things that I think is going to continue to grow in popularity as the year goes on is a send three double Mabel kind of coverage that looks something like this. This play will do a really good job against that because you have this nice post route. You also have, again, this this uh, this little wheel route. So the wheel route is going to pull zones out of the way. And then you'll see here, actually, oh, he got lagged. Let me show it to you again. Um, got absolutely crazy instant shutting as well back these guys up and let's take a look at this post so again he cuts and if you just wait on this he's going to clear see how he clears that and then you can you can kind of hit that in that little window so the beauty of this is now most people when they put 30 yard zone uh 30 yard cloud flats they're not going to chase crossers they're doing that so they can basically only have to defend underneath, right? So when you use this post, uh, it can it can have the potential to be able to get over the top of these 30-yard zone drops. So this is going to be a little better example. And as you can see, you can throw it right in that window. So super effective play against man and zone. That's slot post setup number one. The next setup we're going to be taking a look at is the play verticals halfback burst. This is your default deep pass audible. This is really effective for those double Mabel coverages that I was just talking about that a lot of people like to do because a lot of people are going to try to stay in some type of cover two uh, to be able to do this. So the only thing we're going to do to set this up is we're just going to streak this slot receiver and then we're going to motion this guy out to the outside. And typically what's going to happen, if you have a running back apprentice, you can put him on a Texas route over the middle or you can just leave him on that block and release route. But the beauty of this is you're going to see that this streak is going to get up the seam and it's going to have a potential big play 
for you against cover two. Now, if you don't motion out this outside receiver, uh, I do want to show you what's going to happen. So if I don't motion this guy out, if I just streak this guy and call the play, you're going to see that this wheel route um, kind of will time a little bit better and it can get over the top as well for another big hitter against cover two. So this is a great little play that you can utilize against cover two. And you also have this stuff on the right side that I want to show real quick. So you'll see this wheel route on the right um, kind of got cut up there. So he didn't run his route as good as we want him to, but I'll show it to you one more time. And we'll talk about the other types of zone coverages uh, that you're going to face, but what you'll see, let's see if I can get this over the top. Eh, it's not going to happen for me. Um, just throw the other wheel route against cover two. It's much, much, much better. This would be a, you could motion this guy out as well. So you can, you, the cool part about tight open and what I like about it is it's, it's almost like a, it's like the best, feature of a tight and a spread set uh, it, it combines the best features of both of those things and so there's a lot of really cool things uh, that we can do with this with this formation with the motions because we have very um, we just have very good spacing in this formation it's what makes it kind of unique and I think really effective so you see how when you motion that guy out on the right on the short side he'll get over the top of that cloud a little bit better now I wanted to talk about other zones that you're going to face um, so let's talk about cover four for just a second. So everyone's running this cover four and typically what you're going to see is they're going to run this baseline press variation of this cover four defense. Well, the cool part is you can kind of throw these and basically catch them on the sideline because the zones won't be able to combat them. And I'll show you the actual, um, baseline press, uh, baseline press variation of this cover four, and we'll put the curl flats out here. So. You see, this is kind of the, again, the standard meta a lot of people are rocking right now. If I motion this guy to the outside, you're going to see here that he's going to go. And then I can kind of throw this almost like a back shoulder catch. Just throw it to the sideline, and oftentimes he's going to get wide open for you. Uh, the same thing, it's going to be a little bit more true, especially against cover four and cover three. It's going to be a little bit better uh, if you leave, like, to the short side of the field. So that's something that you just got to think through. Um because you'll see here the tight end will just take this guy and then this becomes a very easy throw on the sideline against cover four and it's even easier against cover three we'll show it to you against cover three as well so let me audible to cover three we'll baseline press it and the interesting thing about the cover three is obviously the seams become a little bit more uh tender a little bit more open so the same thing here on the right side you see that outside third is not going to play him even though the middle third is on the short side of the field still not going to be effective so this becomes, I think, one of the best zone beaters in the entire game. Um, and you'll see here that you can also, one of the best things about tight sets is you can attack the seams very quickly. So this play does a really, really good job against all of those different coverages, whether it be cover two Mabel zone, really any kind of zone play, uh, this becomes very, very effective. Now I wanted to show this same play um, against man coverage real quick and just talk about it in terms of man coverage. So. If you do get man coverage, these um, these seams, they kind of get over the top sometimes um, from what I've noticed. So you can freeform them up and basically almost try to like lob streak people to death. This is going to require or force your opponent to have to shade their coverage over the top. So if you're ever getting a significant amount of man coverage, Obviously, we probably wouldn't call this play, but another thing you can do is this check down, this still stock running back in route. I mean, just throw that, and oftentimes that beats man, one juke, you could be in a really good spot. Um, so obviously this play is not specifically designed to beat man coverage, but just with the way the streaks are in this game, you can beat man coverage. Now, I did want to quickly point out cover two man. So cover two man has a stock shade and the stock shade of cover two man is basically inside and underneath. So these wheel routes on the outside, actually a terrible pass lead there, but these wheel, these wheel routes on the outside can do a really good job at basically burning any kind of shade underneath cover two man. So we're going to kind of funnel the defensive users and uh, the defense into a, you see like right here, see how this is open in that seam. Um, we're going to kind of funnel them into a man-to-man -man coverage where they're going to have to shade over top, which is then going to open up slot posts. It's going to open up um, some of the other things we're going to show you later on in this ebook. But, um, you know, again, here you see, see how this little window is wide open to be able to throw it once he kind of gets that over-the-top separation. 
So that's verticals. The running back angle route, we didn't really touch on that, so I'll, I'll touch on that real quick. As long as they don't have a three-rack defender on the field, um, this running back Texas pattern is obviously one of the most consistent ways to beat man covers this year. So that's a great play to have in your arsenal. I want to show you a second variation of the play verticals halfback burst, and it's really my favorite way to attack a defense uh, with a slot apprentice. So the beauty of this is it's very effective. If you have slot apprentice on your tight end or this outside right side receiver, uh, really either one is going to be fine. Uh, but what we're looking to do here is we're just going to utilize any kind of slot apprentice post. So we're going to utilize this slot apprentice post. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the left side receiver and we're going to put him on uh, a drag route or a slant route, okay? Either either one is up to you, but basically just this simple setup right here becomes really effective because this is going to now give us a lot of options against man coverage. Now, if you have a running back uh, apprentice, you can uh, put your running back uh, apprentice on this little Texas pattern, and you could, if you wanted to, motion them out into a five wide type of look, you know, kind of freestyle a little bit here, but the main thing is with the slot apprentice post, it just really opens up everything for your offense in this formation because now you have a post route that can go right to left and you also have a post route in the formation that's going to go left to right. So very simple setup here. And what you're going to see is this is going to become a really, really good play against man coverage because the slot apprentice post is one of the most consistent man beaters in the game when you combine that with the fact that they can't press a tight end. They can't press this tight end in nickel formation. So even if I send a cover zero blitz, you're going to see right here, they cannot uh, in any way, shape, and form ever press this. And so you can click onto that tight end and aggressive catch this back to the ball consistently. The only way they can press you is if they're in a dollar formation, which is obviously going to then leave them very vulnerable. So that's part A. Now, part B of this is most people, if they're going to play you in a cover, cover one robber type of coverage, I want to show you something about these streaks. All you're going to do is you're going to free form and basically try to lob this up and over the top. But when he cuts up field, oftentimes he's going to get this this, separate, this kind of separation over the top, and they'll get it on both sides. So you have that as a release if you if you see they have a step. And typically it's a little bit better when they're off coverage for some reason, but you'll see. Let's see if I can free form it up. Boom, and you see that's the idea. Now, the biggest thing here is that's not the main read on the play. That's not why we run the play. And we can actually run the play slightly different. We can run a variation um, of the play that looks something like this as well, which is kind of reminiscent of the play slot post out of the gun type uh, Madden 23. But please, please, please use this slot of prints. If you are struggling to beat man coverage, this is one of the best plays in the entire game. You can The cool part about this formation, too, is you can do all kinds of stuff with motion. So, you know, use this slot apprentice post, and then you can even pair this with a, with a running back, or not a running back wheel, but a slant. So you could do something like this right here, and now, and now the pivot route on the right side is going to get you some separation against main coverage. Now, you might ask, how does this play work against zone coverage? Well, this play is actually not too bad against zone and again, I want to go back to the kind of the main setup, which is going to be this right here. So this little, the, because this uh, street goes out and then up, it's going to clear out that cover four or that cover three. So they can't run, what a lot of people like to do, especially against compression, is they're going to run a defense that looks something like what I'm about to show you here, like this right here, okay? And the reason why they're going to do this is because now, because oftentimes this, this outside third is going to be able to defend corner routes. If we were to run a street corner flat to the left, we would struggle to be able to get that open. But because we're using these um, different types of, of wheels, there are different types of like seam streaks, they're gonna clear that out easier for you and you're gonna be able to beat cover three uh, over the middle just like that. The next play we're gonna be going over in this is we're gonna be going over the play Dig Z spot, one of the best plays in the formation and our kind of standard sale concept. Uh, and I really, again, this I, I can't stress enough how important the spacing of tight Y open truly is for how we're going to be able to use this to attack man coverage. So the setup is very simple. It's kind of a quick hike play. We're just going to simply streak the right side receiver, and we're going to snap the ball. First and foremost, if they play you in man coverage, the running back's going to be open. And the reason the running back's going to be open is because how can they truly defend him, right? The only way, it, this is a cover zero blitz, okay? So this is a, a true uh, send five cover zero blitz against man. He's going to be wide open to the flat. And this specific table route 
and maybe just this formation in general, I feel like the running back gets to the flat a little bit quicker uh, than he will in other formations. So here's cover one Robert. Now we got the middle linebacker on him, a little bit closer in alignment, but you'll see this still comes open very easily to the flat. So it's one of the best quick throws um, in the game. So you have that ability to attack man-to-man -man coverage with this simple running back route. So now if you think about it, the user is going to have to basically shoot to the right at the snap of the ball. Now, if it is man-to-man -man coverage, this is going to leave everything open on the back side. You have this nice dig route, stock 10-yard in route, really good. If you have a slot apprentice over there, you could put him on a slot apprentice post. That's fine, but you're you're pretty much fine with just this, this stock in route. It's actually pretty effective. And then this little whip on the left, we know zig routes do a really good job of attacking man coverage. It's also going to do a good job of spacing the field. Um, against zone coverage as well. So very effective. It's one of the best five out plays in the game. So they can't defend you in man coverage. So one of the ways they're going to try to counter you is by going to zone. And specifically, they're going to have to have some kind of hard flat over here to get to this guy on the right. The corner route also real quick, the corner route can beat man coverage. Um, I would say corner routes this year are a little wonky, but basically when he cuts to the right side, again, this is one of the cool parts of tight open. Because of the alignment of the formation, and because of the fact that we're forcing them to shade over top, you're not going to get you're not going to get pressed. So the bumping that kind of messes up corner routes, they're not. It doesn't really happen in this formation. It's bad. So that's another reason why I think this formation is one of the best in the game. Now let's talk about cover four again. This is I'm going to actually go down to the three three cub variation of this because this is what most people run. So. The, this is also the biggest reason why we want to run this formation, generally speaking, with our running back to the short side of the field, because now you're going to see when we call this play, he's going to get a nice clean release and it's going to get open. If we were to run this play to the left hand side, and I'll show you that real quick, actually, um, if we were to run this play to the wide side of the field, first and foremost, I want you to notice the tight end does flip with the running back. So your slot apprentice will always flip when you flip your formation. And then the second thing I want you to notice here is this is that cover four, and you see that it's going to actually put him in a position where now they're able to play that route. We would have to then motion this guy out, which is not a terrible thing, uh, but it just doesn't, to me, it's it's not as good, okay? So that's cover four, and then real quick on cover three is very similar. So um, if they don't have a 30-yard cloud, it's open. If they don't have a 30-yard cloud, it's open, okay? If they have one, then it's covered, and I'll show you that real quick. So... Let's say they put their uh, zone drops on and they put their cloud flats back to 30 yards. This corner route can get over the top sometimes, but as you can see, it's kind of a hard throw. It, it, it's a really hard throw. You kind of run out of space. Now, that being said, this is the one little caveat to this that I did want to provide you. So let's say they're running 30-yard clouds and they're running these Mabel coverages. Okay, Again, I think this is going to be a very popular way to play defense this year because of how good the three-man sheds are. But what you'll see is if you run this to the wide side, a lot of times you can kind of sneak this in up and over the top of the cloud uh, because it is a deeper corner route than what you would normally get. Um, and so very effective. Again, if they run cover two, there's two things I want to point out. The first is if they're not playing, if they don't have flat protection, then you're throwing your table route because it's one of the best quick throws in the game. That table route is so unique. It's different than a standard table route. Uh, from what I've seen because it just gets to the flat better. So now what do they have to do? Well, they have to drop a flat over here on the right hand side And because they have to drop this flat on the right hand side guess who's open on the left flat now You got your zig route and this is where you can do kind of one of two setups And I'm going to give you a secondary setup for a Mabel coverage So the, really what we're going to do is we're going to force them into a defense that looks like this and they're going to have to use or defend the uh, the dig route over the middle of the field. Well, remember we talked about verticals halfback burst being one of the best ways um, to attack cover two in this game because of the how these guys get down the field super effectively. So when you combine that with everything we've been doing, now you're going to really more so force them into a setup that uh, honestly is going to kind of look like like this to a degree. Okay, so now we have flat protection on both sides and watch this little pivot route. This is kind of a little, it's kind of a little bit of an advanced read, but when he cuts inside, oftentimes you can throw him before he gets out to the purple zone. So that's an option. But the thing I'm about to show you is, is what I would also recommend. If you're getting a lot of double Mabel, even if it's a cover two double Mabel, then what you're able to do is you're able to take this guy and put him on a drag 
and then I would recommend you could honestly just leave it like this, or you could motion this guy out, right? We could we can motion this guy out, and now this formation becomes super super unique. And you see this drag, this little window to throw this drag because there's no yellow zone on that side is super effective. That's another reason why tight Y open is so cool because the nickel corner automatically aligns to the left hand side, even though the formation strength is really to the right side. Okay, so now what do they have to do with their user? Well, they have to come down and guard this drag route. And because they're going to have to guard this drag route, you're going to see, and actually I forgot to put the drag on the field, so I'm going to get them a throw pick here. But when the drag route's coming over the middle of the field, then you're going to be able to, uh, you're going to be able to hit this, this, this end route, and I'll show that real quick. So again, I'm going to drag this guy. So he's coming over the middle of the field. You got to think about it, but their user is going to run with the drag and it's going to leave this in route backside open once he kind of clears that part hook just pass lead inside and it should be a possession catch it's a very very good little sale concept one of the best in the game and again i cannot stress this enough but if they are playing you and they are not respecting this quick throw wear this throw out just this quick boom and get a couple yards it's very very effective in this game so i wanted to break that down as a sale concept the next setup we're going to be going over is going to take advantage of any kind of zone coverage. It will also take advantage of a match coverage, which we'll show that in a second. But I want to first start out with double Mabel and we'll kind of work through some of the things. But the play is going to be slot post out of the gun tie open. And the main reason now that we're calling this play is for this wheel route to the running back. So uh, what most people are going to do to try to slow your offense down once they realize that you can beat man and you can beat um, different types of baseline press cover fours and cover threes they're going to go to a double Mabel coverage, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to flat the outside right receiver. And then we are going to use our slot apprentice post. And then we are actually going to hitch this slot receiver here on the left-hand side. This is the route combo. It's one of the best ways to attack it because of the fact that this guy is going to act as a flat route, but he's also going to act as a streak route. So the running back is going to go out. And then watch this, um, you can basically playmaker this hitch right over the middle of the field by flicking your right joystick in, and you can do that right there, which is really effective. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you don't if you don't feel like you know you want to have to playmaker, you want to have to wait, like you know they're in a defense like this, then what I would recommend that you do is that you take this guy and put him on an in route. The reason why this is important is because of this running back uh, wheel, this running back wheel is going to pull all the zones to him, and then that leaves this massive void in the middle of the field where you can hit this route over the middle. Okay, so that's a super, super important uh, concept that I wanted to, to show. Now, that's important because, again, how are they going to be playing defense against you? More than likely, you're going to get some variation of this or what I just showed you out of a cover two. More than likely, okay? So because that's what you're going to get, back to the importance of this uh, slot apprentice posts and also the importance of this this uh, kind of wheel streak route they can't they can't use your triangle because once they drop the triangle this guy's going to be wide open over the middle and this is the beauty of being able to attack a send three um, you're going to be able to attack a send three in a lot of different ways with this now let's talk about a send three from a man-to-man -man perspective and this really will show you why this wheel route is actually one of the best routes um, to utilize to attack it so if I utilize a standard uh, running back wheel, I'm going to put him on a standard running back wheel. You're going to notice that it's slightly different than the wheel route that we have on play. Okay. So, and again, that's the main reason we're calling this play. Number one, it's our base play. But number two, we have this really nice wheel routes on both sides. So if they run me in coverage, watch the running back cut up and he absolutely roasts a linebacker in man coverage, which is going to lead me to my next point. So we talked about Z spot being one of the best plays uh, because it has that quick hitting flat route. That's just out. It just out leverages the defense. So they're probably going to go to maybe something like this. Okay. So if they start, if they start manning people up from the linebacker position, this again becomes a really powerful play because watch this running back against the linebacker. Now this is a safety at linebacker, but watch this. I mean, this is absolutely free. It's, it's a free touchdown every single time. And the other thing about this is because we're running this with the spacing that we have and because of the way this route works, let's say they run a cover two man on us. Okay, so the, let's say they run cover two man. You have this wheel. Again, same basic thing. Watch that. You see how that deep half gets kind of pulled to the inside. That's a bad free form. But 
the deep half will get pulled to the inside. If you really want to kill cover two man, I'll show you real quick how to do that. So if you ever if you ever are just really struggling against cover two man, you really need to, something that's going to get over the top. Just streak this. Um, just streak this guy. So you can just do something as simple as this right here. Um, but the streak is now going to carry that deep half back far enough. And now that window right there is going to be wide open for you, and you can hit that over the top. So that's an option if you're struggling uh, to attack cover two man. But if they go to a defense, honestly, like, because if you think about it, look at this real quick. So because of alignment alone, they have to basically cross man either the tight end or the running back. So in this example, we're going to cross man the running back. So they're so out leveraged just by alignment that this becomes a really good way uh, to attack man coverage, as you can see right here. So you have the ability to beat man coverage. Uh, let's talk about cover zero real quick. Another thing that's really valuable. So again, this is a standard cover zero, and we're going to send five out, of course. So because we're sending five out, you can drag the slot or in route him. I like to in route him. I just think it works better for timing. But you'll see you get blitzed, you throw the ball to the back quick. So they have to man him up, or they have to have a flat help flat protection and, and then once they do that they're going to be out leveraged and you're going to be able to hit them in that way as well so this is this is kind of to a degree a little bit of a triangular concept if you really want to another thing that you can do on this is you can um, run the same exact setup here and I'll show you what you can do with this running back so this running back wheel is a little bit more to the sideline and these seam wheels are not as good against zone as they have been in years past they're still good against zone, especially against a double flat. And we'll show you the match beater in a minute. But they're still good against zone, uh, especially the double flat zone. But the biggest thing here is you're going to have to wait on this, and then you're going to have to throw it, and you're going to have to kind of click on and, and try to make a play. Because you see how that cloud is able to play it. So to counter that adjustment, all you need to do to make this a really good zone beater, if you know, you know they're running a double Mabel, is just do this right here. And what you're going to see is by streaking the running back, this becomes an easy way to attack that same coverage. And you could honestly, you could pair this in the play verticals halfback first because we could run the slant. We could run it like this right here. This setup right here, very effective for attacking any kind of cover to Mabel because they have to have the, the purple zone to defend the running back quick to the flat. And then when you put the running back on a streak, the purple zone will never defend him, but they can't run him, man him up. So you see how we can kind of play all these games uh, with the running back. Super, super important. And then uh, the last thing I want to show you on this specific play is how to use this to absolutely obliterate match coverage. So if you ever play someone and they're running match coverage on you, this is a very, very effective uh, concept. It's the flat wheel concept with a vertical from the number two. So you see it looks kind of like this, and then obviously we're bringing this guy backside on a slant or a in route or a drag. So what you'll see is, number one, these, these streaks, they destroy match coverage because it's that same principle as that cover one. But another thing that a lot of people like to do out of match coverage is they typically will press you. So because they're gonna press me, you should see here, this running back, actually played it decently. But a lot of times the running back will get over the top of that corner because it's it's kind of to a degree like if someone wanted to get really, really adjusty, they might do a defense like this. Okay. So they might do a, a legitimate defense like this out of a send five look. The problem is again, the running back wheel just obliterates any kind of like press man to man. So that's the concept. Uh, there for you guys and then we're going to show you one more setup and then we're going to talk about red zone okay guys so last setup of slot posts and this is just a variation of slot posts but what we're going to do is we're going to streak our right side receiver and then we're going to text his route or angle route our running back so it's just a sim simple trail concept this is just for those people that like they they almost can't help themselves but run man coverage and this is more so specific i mean it's a very this is going to kill man coverage and specifically going to kill this setup of man coverage where we drop two hard flats. The reason you need to have something for that setup is because a lot of people, that's how they're going to counter a lot of what we've been talking about in this ebook. So you need to have something like this. And what you'll see is this running back trail or Texas route 
will just beat man coverage over the middle of the field. Now, feel free to smart route that slot post uh, if you're first and 10 or if basically if you have 10 yards or less to go to the first down marker. So now what you see with this play is we accomplish so much because we're able to we're able to attack man coverage, but we also have this slot post that they have to worry about. And so there's just so much in this play and it's super hard to defend this play man coverage. And so it kind of just, again, seals the deal. We're going to be able to consistently beat man coverage. Okay, guys, for the red zone, I uh, just want to go over real simple. We're going to do one of a couple things. Uh, we have the read option that we can go to here. Uh, and then we also actually have some other plays. We have a speed option in this playbook as well. So the first thing I want to do in the red zone is I want to try to run read, read option out of a quick hike. So I just want to try to pound it in with an inside zone run. Super simple, okay? Um, the other thing that you can do, and I'll show you some audibles that you can set up out of this playbook, but again, you can go read option, and oftentimes that's plenty to get you a touchdown. Honestly, it seriously is. But a lot of people like to run man coverage in the red zone. And so what we can do is we can go to this play speed option, and we're just going to motion this guy across. You'll see that the defender will follow him, and it will create kind of a bunch tight end uh, type of look. So when we run this, we can just basically almost always pitch the ball to the running back, and it's going to be wide open. Now, you can do like a little jump pitch, I think. I'm not really, I don't run a ton of speed option. Um, but seriously, normally this is just plenty. And the speed option is really, really good. I think, I don't even know how to do it, honestly. I, I've never really, you know, just pitch. Yep, so you're going hit, to hit triangle to jump, and then you're going to pitch it, and that can also help. Uh, let me show you. So you notice how they're always playing the quarterback. If I option the running back here, uh, I just want to show this real quick. Because I jump, it kind of glitches that out, and then that's going to be open for you. So this is a very simple little kind of gotcha red zone scheme. But I want to show you one other little trick with this formation. What's cool about the Chiefs playbook is there's a lot we can do. They've got a lot of really powerful formations that you can audible into. And one of those formations is this tight wide flex. So we're going to put the play wide zone in here. Uh, we're going to put the play uh, even a counter jet sweep. But they also have this zero one trap. So these are the two plays that I will get into. And the reason why is because it's a very, very fast transition. So you know, let's say you're, you're coming out here and you're just going to audible down into a one tight Y flex. If you get a look like this, typically it's going to be zero one trap. You see how fast the audible goes and then boom, and you're in for a touchdown. So what most people are going to try to do to stop you, honestly, is they're going to have to be in this three, three cub defense. And typically, they're going to be in a defense that kind of looks something like this. So think about the alignment for just a second. What people want from their, if you think about it, what they want is they want their nickel corner to be on the side you're going to run, right? So because of that, then the alignment by nature is going to change. They're not going to be able to do that. So when we audible down to the wide zone, we already have a significant advantage. And I told you, did I not show you that too? Yeah. Yeah. So watch. So the tight end gets a nice block and you're able to typically get in for a touchdown really quick audible. So you have the speed option, um, you have you have the read option, which goes to the left side now, um, and you have your tight flex. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the ebook. If you got something valuable out of this, just appreciate a like. And also, if you guys want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. Ten bucks, it gets you access to stuff like this pretty much every single week. So we're dropping a ton of ebooks, and we're revamping, always always optimizing, trying to make the, make sure everything we put out there is the most optimized stuff that you can be using in Madden right now. So we're constantly updating the site. We'll be dropping a ton of updates with the new patch, but wanted to drop this for you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, go check out the Patreon if you enjoyed the content.